directly. And I think that's the, the, the real thrill of uh, employment for me is to be um, helping people um, deal with health problems, uh, family planning issues, and, and those sorts of things. And I felt human genetics was a very direct means to do that. So I'm doing uh, clinical molecular genetics, which means I uh, oversee a laboratory that does testing of patient specimens for inherited disorders. Um, uh, individually, genetic disorders are quite rare, but cumulatively they're very common in, in our population. And so we receive specimens from all over the country and really all over the world to diagnose individuals and families uh, with rare inherited disorders. So much of my work is evaluating test results, also uh, uh, talking with uh, clinicians, physicians, and genetic counselors and nurses about the diagnosis and testing. I wanted to help families um, and uh, I think that's why I got into medicine. So I see um, children mainly, um, but also some adults that have um, complex disorders. We use all of the different fields of medicine, cardiology, neurology, um, endocrinology, all of these various fields combined into genetics to try and understand why a child has the problems uh, that he or she does. I love how it's um, a uh, kind of the combination between seeing patients in the clinic um, and then research opportunities with high-tech um, uh, sorts of equipment and, um, and tests. So uh, my job is really the cutting edge between the laboratory and the bedside. So I might see a patient in clinic and then order um, DNA testing uh, that's just been out for the last few weeks or years. It's very new and very cutting edge. So that's exciting to see that type of DNA technology transition to the patient. Not a lot of um, medical fields are able to, to do that. Really, my interest in genetics is the interest in the biology. I also have a strong um, desire to be involved in teaching and education. So I felt that genetic counseling was a perfect combination where I could do both. So genetic counselors are trained in both um, genetics as well as counseling. So part of our job is to help um, order the appropriate testing in the family, provide supportive resources to the family, interpret results, and then just basically help families deal with whatever genetic problem um, is in their family. Um, sometimes genetic counselors work as part of research capacity as well. Um, in addition to seeing patients, I, I, have, um, I, offer, I work with um, research projects. Some work in administrative capacities also. Um, I liked having the time. I liked helping families through some of the um, roughest crises of their life and helping them, watching them get through that process and being able to move forward. Um, sometimes having gone through a major loss, perhaps losing a pregnancy, sometimes finding out their child has a um, devastating genetic disorder. Much of what I do currently is, in the, from a research standpoint, is in the area of pharmacogenetics. So it's um, looking at uh, genetic variation in individuals and how it affects drug metabolism uh, in them. So, for instance, uh, a medication that's used a lot in surgical patients is um, an anticoagulant called warfarin and uh, we've been very interested in how um, genes that regulate the metabolism of warfarin and regulate its function uh, can be used in predicting the dose of that drug. It's a drug that um, we didn't have a way of dosing uh, before and as a consequence it's given us some new insights into making it safer. It's a whole field of biomarkers. It's being able to use things like uh, genetic variants, uh, variations in protein, uh, proteins within the person or various other little intermediary metabolites and use those as a way of being able to, to link with clinical data and other phenotypic data and um, predict what's going to happen to someone before it does. So avoid hospitalizations, be able to predict the outcome of therapy, be able to get the right diagnosis to start with. So these are just a few of the career options within the field of genetics. As medicine and computers continue to advance, the field of genetics will continue to expand, and you can be a part of it. For more information about the field of genetics or career options, consider job shadowing, or ask your teacher to help you find a mentor. Also, don't forget to check the back page of the booklet that goes along with this video for a number of great websites and other suggestions on how to prepare for a career in genetics.